What's up, YouTube? So, y'all wanted me to make a part two to my Yieldzilla video. So, I am here to make part two. And I made part two already. So, it was supposed to actually be released the day after I made the part one of that Yieldzilla video. But I feel like I didn't go into enough detail about how powerful compounding interest is. But this is just a quick rundown, as quick as possible, as a rundown that I can do for how powerful compounding interest is. And we're going to use Yieldzilla's APY for an example, which is above 916, um, <laughs> dog on it, that's crazy. 916,000 um, APY percentage. So if let's just say you are starting off with one token, right? Well, basically you're gonna start off with, with every token that's doing these auto staking and auto compounding um, interest um, stuff. They are going to do it based off your token and not based off your dollar value. So let's just say you hold one token, right? And one day that token is now after the auto compounding interest. This is your value of that token. Okay. I've already done the math. This is so I can go through it as quickly as possible. But you might be thinking, well, that's not a lot. Well, if you invest, if that one token is worth one dollar, then you gain two cents that one day for holding um, that token or whatever. If you are holding a token that's worth $10, that's 20 cents a day. If you're holding a token that's worth $100 per token, then that is $2.53. If it's $1,000, it's worth $20.53. I think you guys are starting to understand a little bit. So let me just multiply it by 1,000. And as you can see, $25.30 is the profit that you made in that one day of holding with the auto compounding interest. But the compounding interest hasn't even came into play. Now, let's just say you hold for seven days. Your $1 has now, or your one token has now turned into 1.2 tokens. So now, if you were holding a, th oh, I'm sorry. If you were holding, if that token is worth a thousand per token, right? That means you gain $200 in seven days of holding. This is where that compounding starting to play in a little bit. But if you're holding for 15 days, your new value or the new number of that token you're holding is now 1.49. Now, if there was no compounding interest whatsoever, then we would be saying that one times 0 0.026 will do this but then that's oh yeah that's what's going to equal we're going to multiply i apologize brain fart we'll, we'll multiply that by 15 and then add that to one so instead of having 1.4549 you are going to have 1.39 so that's where you're seeing that compounding interest instead of you're going to have 0.6 gain, 0 0.06 gains, and that's going to make the difference in between. Uh, if you're holding a thousand, a, a token worth a thousand, that's going to be the difference in having three hundred ninety dollars in gains or four four hundred fifty dollars in gain. If you're holding a token that's worth ten thousand per token, that's going to make the difference between four thousand five hundred dollars in gains and three hundred three. Yeah, I'm right, three thousand nine hundred dollars. And gains. And then if it's a hundred thousand, that's gonna make the difference between forty-five thousand dollars in gain and thirty thirty-nine thousand dollars in gain. So that's a six thousand dollar difference, six hundred dollar difference, sixty dollar difference, six dollar in uh, difference, so on and so forth. Now, if you were holding the, uh, one token, that whole token, and you never can't look at it, and then you came back after a day, I mean after thirty-one days, after a month, basically then this is what your new total will be because of that auto compounding interest. Now, this is the number, right? Let me leave that equal or whatever so it's right over there so y'all can see it. But now let's do 0 0.025, I mean 0 0.026 times 31. Though instead of having basically your your that one token multiply itself by two, you're going to have 0.801, 1.801. So that's going to make the difference if the token is worth, 
let's say $10,000. We will do 1.80 so that you guys actually see the math and not say I'm just making a rough estimate. That's $8,000 and $8,060 in gains. But you could have had $3,000 plus more than that if you had compounding interest to add on on top of that. And then if you had $100,000 worth of it, if the token was worth $100,000, you would either have 180000 $180, or 210000 Now, there's nothing wrong with 180000 but the extra 30000 is going to, that's going to help a bit. At least it's going to help you with the taxes that you're going to have to pay. So that's 31 days. Now, if you hold for 61 days, and I'm, guys, I know, I'm probably talking your heads off. But I think it's important for you guys to know the full value of compounding interest. Now, if you're holding for 61 days, your new total of that token is going to be five nine four five nine three six. Okay, that's going to be the new value of that token, or that's going to be how many tokens you hold in all from the auto compounding interest. But let's do 0 0.026 times 61 and see how much share width you have. That this is this is where you're seeing the compounding. You would basically not have double and not exactly double, but you're going to be if if the token was worth ten thousand dollars. If one token was worth ten thousand dollars, instead of having forty five thousand nine hundred thirty six dollars. You're going to be left with $25,860. I hope you guys are seeing the difference now. So the auto compounding makes, the compounding interest makes a huge role in the long term. It's when you do all compounding interest, you're playing the long game rather than the short term game. With reward based tokens, this is not a knock against rewards based tokens, but here's the advantages and disadvantages with rewards based tokens. Some of them reward in the form of something else. A lot of them are starting to reward in this form of something else. So there's not that constant compounding interest that you don't have to work for. There, This token is doing it for you or Yozilla is doing it for you. So there's that, like I said, auto compounding, auto staking APY is playing a big role. And that is after holding for 61 days. Now, we're going to do three months. Okay, we're going to we're going to go to three months. After three months of holding, the your total eight, the total you're going to be having, or your, the total tokens you're going to have with the auto compounding interest is nine point seven two three one. Okay, multiply that by one just so that we have it there to look at. <laughs> Let's do point zero two six times ninety one. That <laughs> this so your mit that I don't even know what to say. Uh, so let you can just do nine point seven. We I don't even want to do nine point seven. If you do, I don't think y'all have to do the math. Instead of having ninety seven thousand dollars, you'll have twenty three thousand dollars without compounding interest. That's in ninety one days. So that's three months. So that means from January to March. That's a whole quarter. That's a whole quarter of you just holding a token. Just a whole quarter of you holding a token that's worth $10,000. And let's not even say it's worth $10,000. Let's say the token is worth $10 for, per token. Instead of having $90,000, instead of having, I mean, 90, $97, you're going to have $23. That's it. That's it. You're, instead of having $97, you're going to have $23. Instead of having $972, you're going to have $236. Now, we're going to skip a few. We're going to skip past the fourth and fifth month. We're going to say you held for two quarters and you've held. So now that means you've held for six months. That means that you are going to have uh that one token is going to be worth it's ninety two point two zero four nine. Okay, multiply that by one, so we have that. Keep that number in mind. Now we're going to do point zero two six times one hundred eighty one. Now I'm not going to look at the number yet. Plus one. 
92.2049 divided by 5.0. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Divided by 5.706. That is, your money could have been multiplied by 16 if you just, if you would have taken the auto compounding interest option. That's what it could have, what could have happened. So instead, let's say the token is worth 92.2. Um, oh no, you have 92.2 of that token. Multiply that by 10. There's the, the token's worth $10. And that's $922. Instead of that, you have, you have five, 5.7 5 times 10. I'll do the math for y'all or I have the calculator do the math for y'all. You have $57. Instead of having $922, you have Fifty-two, $57. Now I'm thinking, I'm at, now I'm asking myself that I do my math wrong on the previous, um, numbers that I was calculating. But I shouldn't have. No, I did it right. I did it right. I did it right. I just, I went on and then said, and then for the 92. Okay. I got you. No, see, that's what I did wrong. So instead of doing 92.2 times 10, I did 92.2 times one. So that's where my calculations were wrong. So if you got y'all guys probably picked it up and saw it and was like, hey, scripty, you're wrong there. Da, 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 da. I see what I did wrong. I apologize. But that's the crazy thing about these auto staking, auto compounding interest. Now, that's six months. Now, if you hold for a year, we'll first do. <laughs> hey, this is about to be a running meme. Zero point zero two six times three hundred sixty five. Y'all gonna laugh when y'all see this number. Y'all gonna laugh. So it's 9.49, right? 9.49. That's how many tokens you hold. Multiply that by 10. That's $94. If you held a t that token, that one token, that one easy little token that you probably put no value on, but you held that. Oh, I, I forgot. I had to add one to that. So $95, $95, $95.9, because I forgot. Yeah, that's my, no, 10, uh, 100, $100. You would have had $100. That's my fault because I have to add the extra one because that's adding on to the one token that you already had in the past. My apologies. But this is how much you would have with the auto compounding interest. And Let's, 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 ladies and gentlemen, let's compare $91,637 to $100. So that's the power of the crate of just compounding interest. Compounding interest is not, hey, I'm here to make quick gains. It's not at all. Compounding interest is I'm here for the long term. I'm here to make the long term gains. And this compound, you're not going to make this if you're selling incrementally as time goes on that because if you're selling that means that's less compounding interest or less less money to be compounding on top of each other so instead of like that's that's where you would start just seeing the co consistent 0 0.026 um and you would be lessening your profit but hey you are take leaving with some profit as well so it's just based off of what your personal preference is but this is what would happen if you held in a year and I've heard so many people clown people in the past about, oh, imagine, imagine being the dude that sold Bitcoin back in 2012. If he would have held just six years, then he would be a billionaire for, he, but instead he sold it for two boxes of Papa John's pizza. But you're probably, I'm not going to say that Yozella is going to pop off and go crazy. But if you did hold and stick it out through this AP, this bad market, with this um, amazing APY though, and you held for just a year, you would be in the scenario that possibly, you would possibly be in the scenario that the dude that held Bitcoin for six years would have been in. So that's just something to take note of. That's the power of the crazy auto compounding interest and staking pool or auto, auto staking and auto compounding um, interest. I, I think I've set it up on this video. I've talked to y'all ears off. I hope I was able to explain 
the power easily. If not, please let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and share this video with a friend. A lot of people, not just in crypto, but in stocks and just in life and savings as well, do not understand the full power of compounding interest. So if you know someone or you have some people that you would want to know more about auto compounding interest, then share this video with them as well. It would help my channel grow and it would help them grow their knowledge and just finances and calculations and mathematics and all that good stuff. But love you all. God bless one. Stay safe. Please be stay safe. All right. Peace.